We're but a tough. little milder right now out there, right? Certainly. We're in the 30s today, but uh, and we don't have any real problems with air quality. It's green. I've checked all of the sites across the region, but we may see a little yellow the next two days before it looks like a grazing weather system will impact us starting on Tuesday and then another one on Thursday. So here we go. Let's check out the country. Where is the precipitation falling? Well, it is a, an Alberta clipper right into Minneapolis, and you know where it'll end up in Chicago adding snow to the top of those rings. Rain is falling in Florida and heavy at times. Some places have seen half to an inch of rain. Temperature wise, it's only in the 40s and 50s around uh, Disney World in Orlando. We're seeing the rain and the snow in the mountains across Arizona. So from the muggy on rim and the white mountains getting the precipitation they need. And for us in the western United States, any rain Arizona gets is still good for Utah, even though uh, we'd like to see more of that precipitation come our way. Disturbances are moving around this ridge of high pressure. You see how big it is here. It goes out into the Pacific, comes over the top, and then heavy rain with an atmospheric river pounds Ketchikan, Juneau, and up towards uh, Valdez. Now, eventually, this is going to come down and brush by on Tuesday, and the ridge of high pressure will break down as we head into February. But in the meantime, our radar and satellite looks pretty quiet. What to expect, though? First of all, we have mostly sunny skies expected during the daytimes today, tomorrow, Monday. Uh, February 1st is the next chance for a storm and better air quality this week overall. Temperatures are now 19 in Evanston, 21 in Kemmerer. We have 41 in Price, a little downsloping wind today, helping to warm Price up more than the Wasatch Front. We're standing in the 30s and we'll drop into the 20s again tonight. St. George, it's been windy down that I-15 corridor. White Reef had a gust of 50 miles per hour and out by uh, Badger Springs, 45 mile per hour wind gust. But those winds will be diminishing tonight and give us uh, quieter, nicer weather for tomorrow. 34 with nine mile per hour west wind. That gives us a chill of 27. So uh, you're going to go out and want to layer up for sure. 55 in St. George, that wind's steady northeast at 20, but that's out at the airport. And your airport, much like the Salt Lake City Airport, not near the downtown area, it's not as windy in downtown St. George and other areas as it is out at the airport. So here we are on Sunday, that ridge of high pressure dominating. We bring that weak disturbance right here. Watch this, just kind of grazes by, doesn't do a whole lot. Winds out of the north though, and that will help to mix up the uh, air in the valleys. Still high pressure dominates, but on Thursday, another disturbance moves by before Friday, Saturday. There's one that clips us. Now this one will again help to clear the air, but it won't bring a lot of precipitation. I'm looking at the next one coming in right there. That one is going to be here on Tuesday and it'll bring our best chance for precipitation in the next week or so. Here's tomorrow's high temperature forecast, 40s, 50s, and 30s with 20s. And Logan, some fog along the uh, valley bottoms and near the Great Salt Lake, Cache Valley as well. Uh, expecting a lot of sunshine mixed with those clouds in southern Utah, temperatures warming into the low 60s. Here's the Wasatch forecast, 38 tomorrow, 40 with some haze Monday. That storm on Tuesday, it won't bring any snow, mostly cloudy skies, a bit of a breeze, and that'll help to clear the air. For Wednesday and Thursday, another brush by weather system helps to clear the air. Then we warm up as the storms start to move closer. We'll get up into the upper 40s before we start to see some rain and snow on February 1st. And hopefully the first couple of weeks of February will turn out to be stormy like we had in December. Let's look at your weather forecast.